The electric hookup for Royal is really easy. You have a basic flap that comes up and you grab the shore lead and push it in like so. This can then sit on top and it locks it in and protects it from the weather. When you want to, dising, when you want to take it off, just simply lift it up and pull it out like so. Under here we have the gas locker. There's two bottles of gas which are already turned on. If one runs out, it'll automatically switch onto the next one. You've just got to be aware of this yellow switch, which is, uh, which is the isolation switch. It will always be on, but in case you smell gas, in case of emergencies, just turn that off. Also in the gas locker, you have a bag of wand anchors. These are to hammer into the uh, bank edge if you've got nowhere to tie off. If you'd like to use any of the electrical appliances that come from a socket, all you have to do is simply turn the inverter to on. This will now power up all the sockets within the boat. When you're not using any of the electrical appliances, just flick the switch to off. Irrespective to if you're plugged in or the engine's running, if you want to use any electrical appliances, this must be on. The radio is nice and simple. You've got an on and off button, so push and hold, it will come on. You have your radio stations pre-installed downstairs, and then you have push and hold to turn off like so. The unit is very simple on this boat. You have a switch here, when it's down, it allows hot air to come out. When it's up, it allows cold air to be circulated around the boat. Then you have a dial that can spin, and this allows the fans to blow according whether it's hot air or cold air. When you're not using it, turn it all the way down so the light's off the arrow, and leave it like so. To use the TV, because it runs off 240 volts, the inverter must be turned on. You then have a socket behind the TV and a signal booster. The socket is already turned on and the signal booster, this black switch here, has to be to the right and you get a little blue light turned on. With that, you then literally turn it on with the remote and just wait for it to turn on. While it's turning on, you have a aerial at the back of the boat which may need adjusting depending on the signal. To use the DVD player, you have a source button in the top right of the remote. Press that and then choose DVD and the DVD slot is just on the right side of the TV. To use the gas hob or oven, you must lift the glass up and turn the gas tap onto on, which is in line with the pipe. You then have a sparker here that will light depending on what you are trying to light. So if you wanted to light the gas hob, you push and hold, light the sparker, and then you have a flame like so. Turn that off, and if you're using the grill or the oven, please leave the doors open until it's cool enough to shut, and the same rule applies for the hob. And then turn the gas off. Ready? At the helm of Royal, you have a revometer, which will tell you how fast you're going uh, in miles per hour, so at 1200 revs you're doing 4 miles an hour up until 6 miles an hour which is 1800 revs. Beside the revometer you have your engine warning lights. If any of these come on please moor up at your earliest convenience and give us a phone call. You then have a bilge pump when it's in this position it's on automatic. You have a water pump which is um, if you want pressurising your uh, taps. You have a windscreen wiper and a horn. To start this boat you have this little silver switch that will pull out. When it's in the out position, the gears are disengaged. To help the boat start, you want to put some revs on and then heat the boat for about five to 10 seconds. Once uh, five to 10 seconds has happened, turn the key to start and slowly pull the throttle back into the neutral position. Once the throttle's in neutral position, push the silver tab back in and you're not ready to untie the ropes and begin your journey. To turn off the boat, turn the key to off. The bow thruster controls the front of the boat. To use it, you have two on buttons. These have to be pressed at the same time and you get an orange light appear. If you want the bow of the boat to move left, push and hold to the left and it will thrust the boat over to the left. If you want it to the right, vice versa, push and hold to the right. When using the bow thrusters, try to use them uh, in about three to eight second burst. Anything too short is too, uses too much power and anything too long will drain the batteries. 
After you've finished, just push the off button and the orange light will turn off along with the bar thrusters.